Maraming salamat po! Hey guys, it's Elboy Carson and welcome to another video. So the craziest thing happened last week. Okay, so I was ready to watch a Netflix video and all of a sudden, this YouTuber, his name is Dwayne Wally. He has so many subscribers. You guys should definitely go watch his video, subscribe to him. He speaks fluent Tagalog, so he makes these entertaining Filipino-based um, videos for them. Uh, but yeah, you guys will totally enjoy it. So he came up to me and said, Hey Lucas, dude, a TV show in the Philippines is looking for foreigners to guest on their show any day this week, from Monday to Friday. Would you be available to guest on their show this week at all? And would your parents allow you? I was like, uh, uh, yeah, of course, why not? I mean, I've been doing YouTube for four years. I think I can manage, you know. Go. Just stay perfectly still. Hey! Or we just take a picture, Dad. No, no, oh, yes, yes. I think I can manage being on TV for a while. So I asked my mom. She was cool with it. So we came in on Monday. I auditioned, and then I got accepted, which is awesome because this is, you know, this the competition is high. And so we practiced dancing, and the next day it was showtime. And I cannot wait to show you guys the clips that I was on TV, on legit television, being broadcasted live. So this TV show is called You're My Four Annoy. It's basically foreigners being on a Filipino talk show where he does a talent, maybe singing or dancing, and the host would ask them questions, do some challenges, learn a Filipino word, you know, just have tons of fun, make people laugh, have a great time, get a little money, and yeah. So, uh, why not? I'm a foreigner, I'm not Filipino, I'm half American, half Chinese, so yeah, let's do this. I was so excited. Our double cards who will judge today. Blacky Lou! Hey, Alan Pia! Hey. It's a great day with you guys! Now I know what you're thinking. Why does the judge look transgender? Well, it is a guy. You know, the LGBT community is very popular, and so integrating them into the TV shows makes it more entertaining and more crucial to the audience. So yeah. With me is our Dabber, Courtney Dabber Guts Judges. Oh, yes. How are you? We're good and we're loving the flowers in your hair. Oh, really? It's still fresh. Are you ready to meet our foreign eyes for today? Yes, of course. <gasps> well, well, oh, well. Who's there? Well. Oh, my God. So the first judge's name is Blackie Lou, and that guy, they have the second judge, his name is Liver Sphere. I know, right? Where do these names come from? I don't know. Akala mo siguro Black Ilo may isahan mo ko. Gusto mo iko lang maka meet na mga Polinoy? Ano mo para kang kuto? Oh my gosh. This song is so pressuring. When we were rehearsing, the lady said that, okay, when this song plays, you guys gotta walk out and then stay at a platform, wait for three seconds, go to the center and introduce yourself. So when we heard this music, we were like, this is it, folks, this is it. Yeah, so the night before the actual thing, they told me to make a selfie video of in me just introducing myself, and I did it, they edited it, made it better, and uh, here it is. This is Lucas Carson, and I am from Utah, from the United States of America. I am half American, half Chinese, and I lived in Shanghai, China for 15 years, and this is actually my second year in the Philippines, and I love it a lot. The people are great, it's such a beautiful country, and I really feel the unity of everyone else together. My interests are boxing, I uh, boxed for 10 months already, and also I've been making YouTube videos for four years now. I currently study in Brent International School of Manila. I've got a mom, a dad, a brother who is 15 years old, and a sister who is currently nine years old, and I love them so much. They are just the best. This is Lucas Carson, and you are my Foranoi from the United States of America. <laughs> That basically means good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Lucas Carson. How is everyone doing today? All right, so I know you guys might think that was an awkward pause, but no. When, right when I said, how is everyone doing, the crowd just instantly started cheering. How is everyone doing today? Yeah, woo! Yeah. And then I don't know why in the final product, there was a one second delay pause, and that made me awkward. So, 
Not cool. Yeah, woo! I am 17 years old and currently I, I lived in the United States of America. I'm from Utah and I lived in Shanghai for most of my life and I'm just so glad to be here. Uh, so, I just gotta stop right here. 20 minutes before the actual showtime, the auditioner gave me two phrases, two Filipino pickup lines, and they weren't short, they weren't easy. There was just so much pressure because after the 20 minutes, I need to memorize them and it's showtime, baby. So maybe I met, no, I messed up. So uh, here you go, enjoy. Hindi tapako, hindi, hindi tapako napapagot. That was such an idiot. Okay, I know how to say it now. It's hindi pa, eh? That means I'm not tired yet. So I just, if I had more time, probably I'd do it better and not embarrass myself in front of TV. But it was cool. Kanina pa kasi kayo tamakat po sa yutako. Hi, my name is Chiro. I'm 19. I'm from Naimpol, Italy. All right, so this is my opponent. He's two years older than me. He's 19 years old. He lived in the Philippines for a lot longer than me, which is three years. And he speaks a language spoken in the Philippines, which is not Tagalog, but Bisaya. So he kind of has an advantage here. Sucks to be me. Hello, Dabarkats! As you can see later on, he's a little bit nervous before the show actually started when both of us were backstage. He was like, oh my gosh, we're really doing this. I'm like, bro, you can do this, okay? There's nothing to be worried about. Just be yourself and breathe, all right? And then I guess he did pretty well. Ako pala si Chiro, galing ng Italia, pero bisaya kong dako! So every foreign noi has to do a talent. They could be either singing or dancing. So I chose dancing. And the thing is, I only had two hours to practice it. The cool thing is I got backup dancers to help me, you know, spice things up, make the dance more upbeat and energetic. But I only got two hours to do a 90 second modern Filipino dance. It was very tough, okay? So this is all I could do for two hours of practice. Please enjoy. Dude, the camera angles were amazing. These guys know what they were doing. And the editing, the, the up and down angles, and the switching around just makes it a lot better. I swear if it's just one angle, it'll suck. I would suck. So thank you for editing this in real time. Appreciate it for making me look a lot cooler than I am. The night before, I was so nervous that I would mess up on TV, and I actually did. But these cameramen, again, they know what they're doing, okay? So when they know that I mess up, they're gonna switch angles into my parents and my grandparents, which they did. So that saved my life, because if they didn't, I'll be like, oh no, I messed up, what am I gonna do? <laughs> This cartwheel wasn't my best because the pants were a little bit too tight. So I couldn't stretch out my legs with the full range of motion or else I'll split my pants. So I wouldn't want to do that. And then after that, I have a backflip. And I was so nervous uh, because I don't know if I could make my backflip or not. Because in rehearsal, I, uh, I kind of tripped and fell on my knee and it really hurt. So I was so scared. What if I messed up in the backflip? But we'll have to see what happens. <laughs> Thank goodness. Thank goodness I didn't die. Woo! All right. Tumblingero si Lucas. Good job, Lucas. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Hi, how 
how are you? <laughs> Hello, Lucas. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, how about you? I'm very good. I was a little bit out of breath, so bear with me. I was like, yeah, dude, I'm doing good. How are you? You uh, are 17? Yes, I'm 17. I'm not an adult yet, so I'm just 17 years old. Very young. <laughs> not an adult Lucas yet. Po, 100 percent uh, American ang tatay, 100 percent Chinese ang mommy. Ang nanay. Yeah, 50 percent American, 50 percent yes. Chinese. Yeah. I am half American and half Chinese, but they actually said I was 100 percent American and 100 percent Chinese, but I'm actually 50-50. But you know. That's all right. But 100% Filipino. Pero Filipino. How long have you been in the Philippines, Lucas? This is actually my second year. Second I've, uh, year. Yeah, yeah. I moved in last year, so it was it was an amazing experience. You're with your mom. Yeah. Where's last mom? Year? She's right there. there. Say hello. There. Ni hao. Love you. Hi. Oh, look at my mom. She's so cute. She's just always there for me, always waving, cheering, and just being positive. I love you, mom. Ni hao. And how has it been, Lucas, since uh, you moved here to the Philippines from the U.S.? It, it's, uh, it's amazing. Like, it's, a, it's very different. There's a lot more trees. And I feel like the air is better. People are so nice, you know. I just love it here. See? Yeah. <laughs> These are things we take for granted. Because yes. We, we grew up and we were born here. Wow. What, what, what places have you visited already? Um, just one place, and I have a pretty bad memory. I've been to Batangas for... Uh, Diving and then I got a really bad sunburn because I forgot to put sunscreen on my back. Fact is, I did get a very severe sunburn on my back, but the scuba diving part was amazing. You know, I was like, I should have talked about that. I was being a little negative. Butthead. Uh, Batangas? Yeah. One year and you've only been to Batangas? Yeah, I know, I know, right? Just, I'm sure there's like 7,000 islands. I want to visit yes, all 7,000. Yeah, visit the islands. Yeah, yeah. There's one in Mindanao, it's called Dakak. Dakak? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's very <laughs> nice. It's the right? one we showed earlier uh -huh. on TV. Oh, I didn't see that. So. Oh, you I'm were busy rehearsing. Yeah, I'll search it up on the internet. <laughs> Any other places that you plan on visiting when you get the chance? Um, since I live in Taal Street, I would love to go uh, to visit Taal Volcano and the, you know. Okay. <laughs> Taal Volcano. <laughs> yeah. 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 My house, the Taal. If you want to see it, you visit wow. my house. Really? Can Are I, you yeah. serious? Would you yeah. want Blackie Lou your... to 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 uh, can, can you adopt me for two days? Show you around. Can you I... can you take me? Oh my God! That's a bit me. Excuse me. <laughs> they were fighting for me. I loved it. I was laughing so hard inside. Hi, <laughs> hi. That's Kidney Spears. Hello, and Blackie Lou. And Blackie Lou. Do you want nice to go name. around the world with me, Mom? Yeah. <laughs> wow! I really. I mean, they're also contest winners. Wala lang yung nana niya. Wow, I'm yeah. impressed. You guys are amazing. Your acting skills I'm are impressed. tremendous. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Lucas, you've been here for two years now. You must know some Tagalog words. Well, um, I know how to say hello and thank you and goodbye. Go ahead. Tagalog. Okay, so. Um, I know good morning is manggangdang umaga. Okay. And okay. then. Uh, Good afternoon. Good afternoon is uh, magandang abon. abon? Yes. Good evening. <laughs> magandang something. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Lucas? You were taught this before. And I forgot, so I had to say that to save my skin and humiliation. Though I did humiliate myself. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> something. How do you say hello? Hola. Hola! <laughs> Spanish! Lucas! Hey, Lucas! Yeah. Yes. Do you want me to teach you some Tagalog in English? I would you love want to. Some? I would love to. Okay. okay. Can you say it? Ang ganda mo. Ang ganda mo. Ang ganda mo. Ang ganda mo. Thank you. Huh? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what he said. What if he said some weird stuff? And I said, Ang ganda mo. I don't know. I feel like I should ask someone. Does anyone, if you know what agangdamo means, comment down in this comment section below, please. <laughs> one more. You know Lucas, what it means? Lucas. Yeah. One more. I need some with feelings, okay? okay? Okay. Can you say, mahal kita? Mahal kita. I love you too. Mahal. <laughs> I am 99% sure that he just made me say, I love you in Tagalog. Here's a legit uh, Tagalog lesson, okay. Lucas. Okay. We're going to. Um, Teach you a new word uh -huh. to include and in your vocab. But first, try to read it that, that's on long. your own. Pinagmamasoan. Huh? Pinagmamasoan. In front of the camera, there was a piece of paper that spelled the word. And that D in the end looked so much like an O, so 
There's a D. That's a D. That's not a D, that's a, not an O. Huh? Try it again. It's a D, it's a D. Oh! Okay, okay. 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 Pinagmamadstan? There you go. Pinagmamasdan. Mamasdan, yeah. Do you have any idea what it means? Nope, so I just made it up. Uh, uh, there's there's the, the word mama in there. Does it have to do with mother? <laughs> <laughs> like, does it mean I love my mom? <laughs> Pinagmamas day? <laughs> nice try, but what it actually means is... Staring. Yeah. Pinagmamas dan is staring at something. Yep, you guys can make all the fun you want about me, okay? I don't know what the word means, so... Mommy! <laughs> mommy! Mommy! Hi, mommy! I love your son, mommy. <laughs> Where's your daddy? Ma Where's, your, Where's daddy? your daddy? He's in the Oi. U.S. right now. Ma He's in, in the, the U.S. US. Yeah. In the U.S. Oh, by the way, hi. Size 8. All right, if that's a sexual reference, I don't get it. But if you're talking about shoes, okay. Are you ready for your challenge, Lucas? Oh, I was born ready. Okay, born ready. Let's go to Blackie Lou and the kidney. They have something for you to do. Yes, because, you know, I've noticed in some Filipinos, Filipinos are really wise in money. Uh -huh. When it comes to money, yeah. Yes. They are very matipid. So, I will give you the Tawaran Challenge. Tawaran Challenge. Yeah. Challenge accepted. Yeah. Our challenge like accepted You though. want to buy something uh -huh. and you want to make discount for, yeah. for the... You're not a Pinoy if you don't ask for a discount for yes. everything you they'll buy. They'll charge you more, right? Charge. They'll, char they'll uh, cost you double, like more money if you don't bargain. Yeah, they didn't really get what I was saying, so I was just trying to explain myself about what charging me. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> just, just watch the video. K -k -go. So we'll go there. Okay. Idito lang. Sancho mamimili. Okay. Okay, black and blue kidney. Wow, they came prepared. Oh, yeah. by by you? Uh -huh. how, did he, how did he do that? The, the basket just appeared in front of the camera and like magic. Corn. Corn. <laughs> Corn lang hindi mo alam. <laughs> Children of the corn. <laughs> alam mo ba yun? All right, these these two ladies were kind enough to walk towards me instead of me going down there. So uh, thank them. Or probably just because the camera didn't couldn't reach. So yeah, whatever. Okay. Thank you for coming up yourselves. Thank yeah. you. I could have went up. Tindera natin. Magkano pa ng pwesto mo? Binayaran ko to pwesto to. There are two beautiful well, supposed to be ladies. Well, ayoko nito mabisa yun, no? <laughs> ano tong isang to? Tupig? Okay. Wag mo anuhin mo. Wag mo sirain to. Perhaps to nung taga Isabela. Baka mamaya. Miss Millennial? What is that? Mawalan tayo. Tupig is made of rice. Okay. Okay. This is gonna be so fun. Yeah, yeah, let's bargain. Let's do it. Okay, so, Lucas, try to buy something from these two tenderas. Yes. Try this corn. We this... are in the market. Okay, yeah. okay, go. Hey, Suki, Suki, try this corn. It's from Isabella. This is very delicious. Who's Isabella? My bad, okay. I didn't know that Isabella was a place in the Philippines. I thought she was totally a chick, so... I will do my research next time. I will come more prepared. Ah, uh, Isabella, it's a place. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. How much is it? Uh, uh, for three, uh, two, uh, two pesos. Sorry. Two pesos for three? Yes, yes. Uh, I, I only brought one peso. Can we, can we lower it down a little to one peso? <laughs> it's, it's too much. Two pesos okay, is two too pesos. much. Huh? Is it good quality? Yeah, very good. Okay. Fifty centavos. <laughs> I tried to bargain and instead I got a corn pill. What am I supposed to do with that? I can't eat a corn pill. That's stupid. Nobody does that. <laughs> oh wait, I do that. Oh, oh. You, you try also the too big. Oh, okay. You try this. Hey Lucas! Hi. Lucas! You want some too big? It, from Isabella. It's 120 per piece. 120? Are you crazy? That's a lot. <laughs> But the one on my street, the one that I bought, was only like 50 pesos. Why are you selling it? English, English, Okay, 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 lady, just chill, okay? I didn't mean to offend you or anybody. You're, you're pretty. Ish. <laughs> do you want some? How do you eat this? You just like... You can eat this like... You have to peel it like a banana? Yes, hold this. I will show you. Okay, okay. First, we'll do this. Okay. 
pwede iniwala sa taong to. Oh, okay. Why did you eat what Lucas bought? Try it. Okay. Try it. Since you ate so, half, is it half price? <laughs> yes, it's okay. half price. Okay. Okay, go. You know what? It was actually pretty good. I'll, I'll give it to you. They know how to make their stuff. One more. One more. What does it taste? It tastes like my mama's cake. It tastes like, it cake tastes like my me. mama's <laughs> cake. <laughs> Your mom must be from Isabella too. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> so you like it, Lucas? I love it. All right, great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, much Lucas. Lucas. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. You. Nice meeting you. And there was it. That was the most terrifying 15 minutes of my life. But I knew that I only had one chance of doing this and I don't want to blow it. So I was just acting as myself and everything turned out fine. I was actually pretty happy, you know. After I ended the show, immediately, I started getting uh, followers on Instagram and getting tons of friend requests on Facebook. I started from 700 followers on Instagram and now I have nearly a thousand. So if you guys didn't follow me, Please follow me on Instagram, Elboy Carson, Lucas Carson. You'll find me, and I hope I can get 1K followers on Instagram. Thank you. But all jokes aside, so after I performed, my opponent did a dance. You know, he it was a lot easier, but it was more traditional Filipino bamboo stick dancing, and he did all right. I think I was a lot more confident than him and definitely brought more of a show. But yeah, this is what he said after the dance. Did you enjoy your dance? Chiro? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you got winded? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You could get stronger, boy. You can get stronger. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Kali tayo, kali tayo para yung kaya may panusok. Ay, kasi nito pa nus. Pita na bang panus? Panusok? Ayo no, ayo matumihan. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you stuck till the end. You are an amazing human being. You deserve a pat on the back. You deserve a really nice two-hour massage. Whatever you find. Pleasuring, I don't know. I really think that this is a great opportunity for me to uh, get myself out there Get my channel get my Facebook and Instagram out there So if you guys really enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up comment down below and uh, Consider subscribing to Elboy Carson. I'll really appreciate that and just remember more content will be coming soon Okay, it's coming more boxing videos are coming more skits Landon has been working on his Venom film He just shot the first scene and it's going pretty well. So a lot in store for you guys. And yeah, enjoy all that goodness I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out